The iPhone 14 announcement is mere weeks away. We are expecting to see invites to the Apple September event anytime soon. But there are still reams of iPhone 14 leaks to pour through, this dissect and tell you all about. The basics, we are expecting to see 4 new iPhone launch on September 7 and within that there won't be an iPhone 14 mini replaced with the iPhone 14 Max. However, the main upgrades will be coming to the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the iPhone 14 Pro where the iPhone 14 is expected to bear a striking resemblance to last year's iPhone 13. The iPhone 14 leaks are now coming thick and fast and from more reputable sources as we begin to close in on the launch date which we are now expecting to be September 16 giving only 9 days from launch to on sale which is shorter than in previous years. The article is designed to do one thing allow you to get an instant hit of all the latest iPhone 14 leaks and rumors so you can feel as confident as we are about what's real and what's not. And we have been at this while predicting and analyzing leaks on release dates, prospective prices and the most likely specs and charges since the very first iPhone emerged in 2007. Our handy guide is being updated daily in the lead up to the iPhone launch at the next Apple event that we are expecting to happen towards the start of the September. So bookmark us now if you are interested in finding out what's coming and whether you can get excited about the impending upgrades from Apple. The iPhone 14 launch event will take place on September 7 and the phones will go on sale September 16. The 14 is strongly tipped to match the iPhone 13 starting price of $799 but the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max will rise by $100 starting at $1099. The 14 non-pro model looks very likely to match the iPhone 13 but the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max look likely to get a punch hole camera instead of a notch. It's looking almost certain that the iPhone 14 mini has been replaced in the lineup by the iPhone 14 Max. With the big day just weeks away, the iPhone's new hues are coming into focus. The big rumor suggesting that both the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro will come in a new purple shade, which seems to be the in color this year in the phone world. Expect similar other colors such as blue, white, black and red for the 14 and gold, graphite and silver for the Pro. The iPhone 14 and 14 Pro are set for 6.1 inch 1170 into 2532 OLED screens while the iPhone 14 Max and 14 Pro Max will have 6.7 inch or 6.68 inch 1284 into 2778 OLED screens, expect a 120Hz refresh rate on the Pro models and a 60Hz refresh rate on the others. The iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max are hotly tipped to have 48 megapixel main cameras up from 12 megapixel on the current models which will also allow 8K video recording, a triple lens snapper on all but the standard iPhone 14 and 14 Max is likely with the basic phone instead having two real lenses. The iPhone 14 is set to have the i15 Bionic chip set again this year but could have it rebadged with to the A16 with a very mild upgrade. All phones will have 6GB of RAM according to the rumors but the Pro range will have faster and more advanced memory. There are strong claims that the battery capacity could increase with the phones getting thicker to house their larger batteries. One leak has detailed possible specific capacities with them all increasing except the iPhone 14 Pro Max. A recent report from Mark Germain, as we mentioned, has claimed with some confidence that the iPhone 14 launch will happen on September 7, with the on-sale date coming just 9 days later on September 16, although potentially not for the iPhone 14 Max. This would be the joint earliest the iPhone has ever launched, matching the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus from 2016. There were rumored details in the build-up to the prospective launch time, but in recent months they have averted the trial production apparently starting in late February and the engineering validation stage supposedly have been entered which is on schedule. We have did hear the lockdowns in China have slowed things down 
with at least one model in the iPhone 14 range believed to be the iPhone 14 Max. Apparently being three weeks behind, it seems the most models are on course. Apple is supposedly trying to speed things along and ming chi Kuo, a reputable analyst, claimed the situation was under control as of May but in July we heard from another source that Apple is still way behind on panel production for the 14 Max. So things aren't looking good for that model. That said, in early August, we heard that Apple was planning to produce 90 million units of the iPhone 14 line in 2K22, which is in line with previous years and suggests there are not any major delays. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, feel free to share it with your friends and keep watching Best Buy to get your top notch day to day commodities.